Hi everyone, say good morning to Chris. Good morning. What time is it where you are? It is 3.19 in the morning. 3.19 in the morning and she's still up. And we're going to be crafting in a minute, aren't we darling? Yes we are. So, what I've done is I, um, my daughter called this morning and asked me if she could print some stuff off the printer and I went, hers is broken so of course you let them. And then I thought, because Ray went out and bought me this journal book yesterday. And I thought, wouldn't it be great to do a, a little gift? And what do you think to it, Chris? I love it. I think I've overdone it. Because I'm not I one for putting... Like my granddaughter says, less is more, more is rubbish. <laughs> and it's not rubbish. So what I've done, I hope you can see, um, I've painted the background uh, using this metallic paint, which is the dark patina. I then used this mesh. Where You see the mesh? I covered the whole book, uh, the front cover in that mesh and mod podged it on. And it has, it's got a lovely texture to it. Uh, and then I used two appliques, which are not quite dry, they're just drying, but they'll go a lot clearer than that. Two corner appliques here. Um, and then I had this one with the pearl stitched on. So I'm not, I'm not quite keen on that one being in the middle, but I just, the middle looked bare. So what I've done is I've put that on anyway. I've embossed using the um, Cosmic Shimmer and it's the Tropic Pearl Lustre. And look at it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Her name. That's my daughter Sadie. Um, and then I've made my own spray. And these are the little beaded ones that go from a dark green up to a light green. Added the peach ones in to coincide with the peach roses that I've added. Used some of the felt. Well, they're like um, them leaves I got off you. What were they? Um... They're the, um, oh. These? Yeah, um, they're suede. The suede, they're like a suede leaf. So I've not done anything with them, just popped to one either. I've got a little bit of mark. Oh, it's a bit of fibre on there. Oh, God. Um, yes, yeah, so I've done, let me just get that out. Uh, put two leaves on. I've made the flower myself, um, and I can't quite remember whether this came from somebody or I got this from the Kaibu. It is part of a ring, uh, and it matched the green. So what I've done is I've laid um, strips of the fibre in with two different shades of green, which match the patina green and a light green, like a mint green. Laid them and crisscrossed them over, added the pearls in between, and then laid them again, added more pearl, and then added the fibre on the top. And to, the way to do that is what is how Shabby taught us how to do it. She said yeah. you cut a circle out, fold it in half, and fold it into quarters. And then you do four of them like that, and it puffs up here like that. So that's what I've done. Um, I've then added the new Wild Orchid Craft Flowers. But with this particular one, it is a cream flower, and I've embossed it the same using the uh, Tropic Pearl Luster and it has come out quite pretty and then just had little cream flowers here there and everywhere the only thing that's missing off it which, but I don't know whether to put it on is a butterfly because I have to have a butterfly on everything what do you think? I, the butterfly would look great on it but where? <laughs> uh, well I can't like I can do it uh, where? <laughs> um, let's see. Hold on, let me look. I think up here at the top. Up here somewhere. Right over, on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. So I might just put a butterfly on that, but uh, she does love, she absolutely adores uh, vintage and shabby chicness, so, um, I do like it, I just wasn't keen on the, the middle bit, but, um, well... She likes handmade gifts from me, so I think she'll love it. Uh, and I absolutely love this flower. I really do. Love it with all the pearl. I've just stuck that pearl on there. Oh, you silly woman. <laughs> there, pulled it off. Sticking my pearls down. But I do like these flowers. I think they're really shabby chic. And this, the ring section, just looks fantastic there. In fact, it looks like a butterfly anyway. So there you go. And added some bling. Some more bits and pieces here. These are handmade ones that I make. Um, and I like it, I like it quite a bit. So I hope she will. And I'll take a still picture. Thanks for watching. What are you saying to that, Chris? I'm here. Oh, she disappeared off the screen. <laughs> she's busy, busy, busy. busy. Pepper for the international shipping. Oh, okay, she's doing her orders.
Half past three in the morning, she's doing her orders. Right, I'm going to uh, finish now and take a, a still picture of this, and uh, then I'm going to put the video up, okay? Okay, bye. Bye, everyone.